everyone could mute their mics. So this week you are in for a treat because although alignment can seem kind of boring, um, it is actually one of the foundational principles of singing. And you can really find a lot of cool stuff with it with very little effort. Um, so you're going to probably uncover a secret or two during this. And uh, I just really hope you enjoy it. To get started, we're just going to kind of release some tension out and do a little vocalism before we get into it. So I'm going to do it seated today. Eventually, I'm going to be standing up today. So just a warning that you might want to get ready to, to stand at some point, maybe move back from your screen. But now is not the time if you don't want to. So we'll do a rag doll to start out. You're just going to go over, kind of let the head hang, round the spine, shake the head no, nod the head yes. Release the tension in the neck and the shoulders as much as you can. And then take a nice slow breath in, feeling the spine extend and release it out, rounding the spine. See if you can go even a little further. You just let everything slump over and then take another breath in and out. And when you're ready, you can come on back up to seated or standing, whatever you prefer. Just keeping things nice and easy to start. Uh, as usual, we are going to start with humming. So just nice, easy hum in whatever register is best for you. I'm gonna be down here. Ready? exercise so if you're encountering any type of um, or if you're kind of running into anything then between the exercises run your tongue around your mouth or kind of give your face a little massage that can help ready and breathe Nice and easy, and we're gonna go on one of my favorites, uh, whatever octave is easiest for you, on my note the slow opening of the mouth, going to the vowel from the hum. Ready? And breathe. Really good. We're gonna take it down. Think of this as being bigger yet softer and prepare that before you breathe. Make the mm -hmm and inhale through the nose. Make an ooh vowel and breathe in for eight counts. Ooh, and breathe in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release. Good. Try an off rate. Ah, and breathe in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release. Good. We're working on that prephonatory set of preparing that vowel first. So we're gonna go back to the ooh, and you'll just breathe in, and you're gonna slide down. Like this. Ready? And. Oh, yes, very, very nice. Uh, if 
if you feel as though you're getting stuck, you can use this little crutch here, and we're gonna actually change the exercise to be an arpeggio down. Ooh, ready? And. exercise so see if you can hit the bottom note heavy and then connect it to the next note like this ready and if you feel you're getting stuck shoulder 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 and you'll sing ready and That's our stretch for the day. And uh, can everyone make a nice low N sound, moving your tongue back to your hard palate? So it's gonna be like this. Mm. Ready? And. Mm. Good, take it for a ride up and down. Mm. Ready? And. Mm. And we're gonna go on pitches. it's meant to so if you feel like you're getting stuck and it's kind of going no I'm getting stuck up there you can do one of these and go no way I promise you we're only gonna do three more of them so ready and no sound. Ready? And yeah. yeah, very good. Hands on the collarbones like so and just keep it relaxed so we're watching the shoulders and making sure the body doesn't over engage so we don't get yeah but kind of staying here very buoyant. Yeah. Try it again. And yeah. And we're gonna go on yeah, 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 yeah. very mixy, very belty. You can do it down here if you want but I'm gonna be up here. Ready? Shake that out with a siren. We're gonna go. Ooh, Ready? And. Ooh, yes, really nice job. And let's go the other way. And. All right. Very very cool. Um, so today is all about alignment. We are gonna work on uh, aligning the body and kind of um, messing with the sound to see what alignments work better with, uh, with our voice. So that's kind of where we're gonna go and I'm just gonna lead us through this. It's things to know about alignment is alignment is not the same as posture. It is not static, it is dynamic, it is always moving. Uh, anytime we take a breath for singing, we change our alignment slightly. Uh, anytime we move our feet or shift back and forth, we change our alignment slightly. So um, knowing 
where your optimal alignment is can be really helpful. I'm not gonna say it's essential because you can kind of get by with some other stuff and you have to be able to sing professionally in a bunch of weird positions. Um, but I find like this is really nice for unlocking some, some sort of hidden things and yummy sounds. So on these uh, six sort of guided exercises I'm gonna take you through, you're just simply gonna keep the same pitch and same vowel just a very comfortable E. I'm gonna kind of sit us around here. E or E, or you can like make it sound like chant and go E if you want. It's totally up to you, but I'm gonna be down here. Um, so whichever one is comfortable for you, and you're just kind of gonna kind of hold it while I tell you to adjust. Now to do this, we all actually need to stand up because we're gonna start with the bottom since that's kind of the way gravity works. Gravity pulls us down towards our feet. So, I don't think the camera is going to be able to actually see this unless I move back quite far. But if I were to move back quite far, you can kind of see how I'm standing. So, all you're going to do is you're going to hold the E and you're just going to adjust your stance, maybe rocking back and forward, maybe rocking side to side. Here's our pitch, or here, or here. Ready? Here we go. E Take a breath and come back in when you want. E so when you find like a pretty good spot, you might feel your voice lock in or you might feel the effort level of sustaining the E drop significantly. So that's what you're looking for. Let's move on up. So if you found that great, otherwise you can kind of on your mute, Keep going e and kind of trying to find it. We're going to move on up to the knees. So with the knees, there's obviously bend and straighten. So you can start either bent or like hyper straighten and then just kind of look for a nice middle ground on each knee. Ready and e. Try one more. Ready? And E. Next up, we get to a very dynamic area, the hips. So the hips obviously can tilt forward and back and side to side. So if you can just kind of find where your hips like to live while you're singing. Don't underestimate the talk versus the sticking the butt out. So I definitely encourage you to explore those. Ready, and E. Cool, so we've kind of found the lower half of the alignment, which is pretty awesome. Now, now that we kind of unlocked that a little bit, Trying to maintain that, we're gonna move on up to the ribs. I'm gonna put my hands on my ribs, but you do not have to, but this is just to kind of demonstrate how the ribs can move. They move similarly to the hips. They can kind of move side to side, front to back, and they can kind of tilt too. So going ahead to play around with those. Ready, breathe. the way up let's do one kind of general alignment for the the ribs hips knees and feet and just kind of find what feels ideal ready and e all right now we're getting really near the voice so hopefully you found some really nice dynamic alignment down here with the shoulders, it's uh, you have a lot of movements like this, and then also front to back and up and down, so you can kind of play around with them. Do the things that you might not expect. Maybe lifting them up to your ears might feel pretty good. Here we go on E again. This is 
second to last one. So we'll get our monk chant over with. Ready? And. side to side so you can have a tilt and then up and down so there's like yes no maybe so ready here we go and So now that we're here, can everyone go into the ya 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 whatever note feels good and just enjoy your alignment a little bit? Ready and ya ya ya. All right, now we're gonna do the arpeggio. Or if you don't like the Y, you can just go ah, which is kind of where I'm gonna be living. We won't start there. We're gonna start a little lower. I'll pull up a chair, but just kind of enjoy your alignment, and then I will, I'm going to give you a little bit of a crutch. So we'll start here. Yeah. Ready? And. Yeah. balance a lot of weight on your shoulders so like if you were if if you were going to like lift a bunch of like if you're gonna lift something up with your shoulders like uh, think of Tevia pulling his cart in Fiddler on the Roof uh, he you know he got to have that weight on his shoulders and everything has to be aligned otherwise he'd hurt his back so if you want to think of that and then when you inhale the spine can kind of loosen and start moving backwards, yeah, like that. So let's think of that going into this. So we'll try one yaw with that idea. Ready? Three. Now we're gonna take that idea farther. And this actually comes from um, my past voice teacher, um, Simon Chung Lee. Uh, I sort of adapted this from him. I want you to point at sort of a 45 degree angle like this and lock your shoulders. And as you breathe, you're going to move your pointers up, moving your shoulders too. And you're going to keep going while you sing like this. Yeah. Ready? And. Yeah. We'll do one in the middle. Ready? And. Yeah. Awesome job. Let's do one final ragdoll since we're all standing. So just let your spine kind of curl around. And you can just kind of think of what your alignment felt like and anything that you experienced. Take a deep breath in. And then release it out. Try to let go of it all, and breathe in, and out. And when you're ready, come on back up. All right, 
Thank you so much, everyone. I would love if you experienced something that you really enjoyed in this, if you could kind of pop it in the chat window. Otherwise, I'll hang out for a minute or two if you want to talk. <laughs>